Well, I, what you have up front here is our, uh, these are Creeders poppers. They're an oil-based popper. They have sifters on them so that you get all of the kernels. You can see all of the kernels that have fallen down into this bottom tray. So you, you want to get all of the shaft and all of the kernels out of the corn so you're not serving people unpopped kernels. And there's basically two coating processes. We got the candy coating process that we do in uh, copper kettles. We have four of these here. Um, that adds the, like the caramel coating or like for fruity corn or for the vanilla butternut is added in the, um, the copper kettles. And then we have, these are what, uh, what we put our savory flavors like our garlic parmesan or our white cheddar jalapeno or our cheese flavor, and then the coating that goes on, what you, the residue you see in there right now was from the um, making the dichotomy corn, which is cheese-coated caramel corn. One of our, actually it is our most popular, we sell that about three to one to any other popcorn that we sell here, uh, which is uh, an amazing product. Uh, but you get that, that salty, sweet flavor every time that you take a bite of it. It's not like taking caramel corn and cheese corn and mixing them. You're actually coating the caramel corn with cheese, which is an amazing product. We here at Campbell's Popcorn, we don't just do popcorn. Um, what I'm working on now is cupcake truffles. And what we do is, after we make our cupcakes, we take them and we mix them with the frosting. And then we roll them into little balls. And then we dip them in chocolate. We have Buckeye cupcakes. They're a light chocolate cake and then they're filled with peanut butter in the middle. We have s'more cupcakes that have marshmallow and graham crackers in them. Um, we have chocolate lovers. It's a chocolate cake with chocolate chips and chocolate frosting and uh, chocolate poured on top. They have caramel and pecans and a light chocolate. Um, we are, have our red velvet, which we're known for. It's, a, it's like a lighter chocolate cake. It's a sour cream based cake. Then it has cream cheese frosting on it. We have strawberry cupcakes. Um, they're made with real strawberries inside. Um, we have like m and there's sea salt caramel, chocolate lovers, we have even a white mocha, um, our traditional wedding cake vanilla, we have dulce de leche, um, orange creamsicle. There's endless amounts of flavors. We have about over 50 flavors so far. So What our dichotomy corn is, it's uh, we're actually known for it. It's our best seller, and that is a caramel corn base. Uh, we'll cook that in the kettle, and then when it's done cooked, we'll actually transfer it to our tumblers, and we'll add uh, a cheese base to it. So you're actually getting caramel and cheese in every bite. And that, once again, we were uh, voted best to Cleveland back in 2007. Uh, it's the best seller that we have. Rachel Ray did a small uh, write-up in her magazine, um, and just everybody knows it for us. Unfortunately, the name, um, dichotomy, meaning two things that don't go together, uh, a lot of people have a hard time pronouncing it, so you get very different uh, pronunciations, if you will. Uh, so it kind of makes me laugh as we clerk in and people come up and, can I get that D or the Dicotomy? Or you can just imagine the different names. We do do fall flavors. Uh, for instance, this past Halloween, we did what we call the spooky corn. And that was, we took orange flavored corn, mixed it with cocoa. And that went really well, but unfortunately because it was Halloween themed, um, after Halloween we kind of discontinued it till next year. Uh, we have Valentine's Day, which is coming up soon, and we're going to do a Valentine's corn. And what we're going to do with that is take strawberry and cherry and kind of mix the two together so you have your nice, like a pink and a red color, if you will, color of love. Put the, put the formula in the kettle, and then we add just enough water to make all of the all of the formula wet. Stir that in a little bit. Now we're making this vanilla butternut. They wanted the they have blue and gold are the school's colors and they wanted something that was kind of golden and the vanilla butternut will uh, be uh, kind of a golden color. Butter the sides really good. Now butter, the buttering of the sides helps them, partially helps to keep the product from sticking to the sides of the kettle. But the enemy of any candy coat is granulated sugar. So you have to get that granulated sugar down into the formula so that it doesn't turn your batch to sugar. Right now I'm just filling a tin with our three of our main flavors. There's cheese corn, caramel corn, and 
Dichotomy, which is our best seller. It is a light caramel corn coated with cheese. So you get that salty, sweet flavor. What's your favorite kind of popcorn here? My favorite kind of popcorn is the white cheddar popcorn. Right in there, bud. You want to go off this side here. moved here in August and after being in the market for seven years with our popcorn store and uh, we needed a place that we could make everything because it was getting really tight in there and some of the favorite things that I like around here are our famous dichotomy corn which we're well known for it's our cheese coated caramel corn and I also like our turtle rods our delicious gourmet pretzel rods and some of the fun things that my other daughter Holly that's not here today does she does these fine designer Oreos Pete I've got to tell you we are really excited about having you come to Campbell Sweets factory I think this is going to be awesome you're one really awesome looking popcorn kernel I'll tell you what I don't think I've, I don't think I have a kernel in my bin that looks better than you Pete, I tell you what, I cannot wait to see you back here the first part of March for your book signing. That is going to be one awesome event.